Nagoya City, where the G20 foreign ministers meeting will be held, is one of Japan's leading cities in international commerce. I've been living in Nagoya for 25 years now. It's probably one of Japan's most fascinating cities. There's so much technology here, there's so much history here, and the food culture is so different. And that manufactured goods ends up in various places around the world. This is the port of Nagoya, the central core of import and export. Advanced Japanese technology supports the network of its logistics. This is Tobishima Container Berth, a company that manages containers for import and export. Wow. How many containers are we looking at? Tobishima Container Berth has introduced automated computer operations to control cranes and trucks. With automation, more goods can be imported and exported in less time. And they use the world's first self-propelled crane with tires. This is DMG Mori. Located in the Nagoya area, in close proximity to the port, they manufacture machine tools. About 3,500 machine tools manufactured in Japan are exported to all over the world. All of them are shipped from Nagoya port. The company aims to expand its global business by bringing in human resources from overseas. In this point of view, Nagoya port is the most important logistic base for DMG Mori. I think Nagoya is an international city because it's a transportation hub of Japan and that it's such an important part of Japan's trade. I mean, the technology behind that is absolutely fantastic. Tourism and business-wise, more people are going to come to Nagoya and enjoy Nagoya. Nagoya City, an international gateway between the world and Japan, will continue to serve as one of the country's leading trade hubs, a pillar of the economy. Please do take the time to come and visit us here in Nagoya. This is Japan's international gateway to the world.